So I can check this configuration if I go to ISP one router, or I'm sorry, the ISP router to show IP BGP, and I see those two networks. So if you show IP route, I also see those two networks being learned via BGP. What I can do to test this is do a simple thing: 3030.1, and we're good. Now what we want to do here on the ISP router, um, we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you how to set up a simple prefix list here first. So from global config I just do IP prefix list and then you can see here I can uh, uh, I'm gonna name it uh, my prefix list to uh, customer one. So I know what you know prefix list this is affecting, or who this is affecting, and then here I'm going to put in a sequence number so I can you know uh, you know set up my sequence you know my statements sequentially so I can go back in and, and you know put statements before or after as I need them. So sequence I'll just name it ten. And I'm permit. Now. I'm going to permit the 130.0.3.0 network. And as you can see here, when you're doing prefix lists, you don't type out the whole subnet mask, you just have to know and um, you know, all you have to do here is type in the, you know the slash you know the, the value so we just put in slash 24 you don't have to write it out 255 255 blah 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 so that's pretty cool um, you can see here we have two things here after this we have a greater than or equal to value or we have a less than and equal to value and these specify the prefixes to be matched. And I'll show you what this means uh, in a second here. Uh, but what we'll, we'll do now is we're just going to uh, match greater than or equal to 24. And that's it. but less than or equal to 32. What this is saying is, okay, we're gonna match this network, which is indicated with the slash 24, okay? This 130.03 has to be matched. And then we're gonna say anything, any subnets less than or equal to 32. So pretty much anything in between the 130.030 and 130.03.255 range is going to be matched. And we can check this by 
uh, or I'm sorry, what we can do now is tie this into our BGP configuration.